From January 6 through February 10, 2014, Camosun College Visual Arts Department, in conjunction with the assistance of the Vice President's Office, had the opportunity to host visiting senior artist Glenn Lewis through an artist-in-residence program. Born in 1935, Glenn Lewis graduated from the Vancouver School of Art, which is now Emily Carr University of Art and Design, with honors in painting, drawing, and ceramics. Subsequently, he received a teaching certificate from the University of British Columbia and studied ceramics under the great Bernard Leach in St. Ives, Cornwall, England. Lewis had worked in video, performance film, ceramics, photography, sculpture, and writing. He was an active member of the avant-garde scene in Vancouver during the 60s, producing work that blurred the boundaries between media and between viewer and artist. He has taught widely, including ceramics and art teaching methods in the Education Department of the University of British Columbia, media workshops at the National Film Board in Vancouver, and ceramics, sculpture, and drawing in the Fine Arts Department at the University of British Columbia. As one of the co-founders of the Western Front in Vancouver, Lewis initiated and administered the video program. He taught ceramics at Wilford University in Upper State, New York. He curated performance art programs and acted as arts administrator and program coordinator. He initiated and coordinated the computer integrated media program and was acting director for three months. In addition, Lewis was the head of the media arts section of the Canada Council for the Arts. Lewis has served on countless boards, including Intermediate Board of Trustees, the Vancouver Art Gallery's Board of Directors, and the Western Front Board of Directors in Vancouver, as well as serving on numerous Canada Council juries. And while in residence, Glenn had the opportunity to engage the wider Camosun community through workshops and tutorials. Glenn also contributed to the significant linkages with the wider Victoria community through lectures and a local Times Colonist article. <music> 